Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good. In today's video, I will be showing how to create this pattern on tea light holder. This mold is from Devon Dotting. Hope you like it and now let's get started. For the guidelines, what I have done is I have taken the tea light candle. You can take the candle off and you will find a pan. My pan had a northeast southwest <laughs> points on it. So I made use of that. So I placed over there and marked center. And I uh, drew circles randomly. Like it's not one centimeter and all. It's just like randomly I drew circle. And then uh, based on the northeast south points, I just uh, drew the horizontal and vertical lines. Since the pan is hollow, you can place a it under it and then you can place on top and then draw the circles so this was the uh, easiest way i found uh, to draw grid lines but if you know any other way please let me know in the comments below since a uh, tea light holder is curvy uh, i just used uh, paper measuring tape and then i just drew the lines for the fifth and sixth yeah this partition i just randomly placed it and drew the lines so now I am starting to create uh, just the circles of various shades of orange. I'll provide the link, um, I'll provide the names of the colors in the description box below. So first I'm just pointing uh, I and mean placing the dots on the prominent horizontal and vertical lines and then I will just fill in the gaps later. One tip uh, on placing the dots is you can count the number of dots and repeat the same number of dots across all the quadrants but uh, I didn't do that if you want to be very accurate uh, in spacing and if you want the symmetry to be proper you can do that you can count the number of dots and then you can repeat across all the quadrants but I didn't do that. For the first row it is light um, orange color for the second row I have added a bit of orange more to white and then I have done the second row and for the third row I had added some more orange and made it a bit dark so yeah I don't use multiple shades of orange I have single orange color from Fevicryl brand and I use that For the next step I had taken 1 rupee Indian coin and I had just drawn circles. There are stencils available in the market but I didn't have it handy. So I just used 1 rupee coin and drew the circles across all the 8 lines. For the next step I am taking 5 mm crochet hook and on the base of the circle I have just placing a white dot and then I am just proceeding with uh, green colored dots. Here I will be doing swishes so there will be various uh, shades of green in this particular uh, swishes pattern. If you had been following me for quite some time so my go to uh, tool is this quilling needle so I'll place a dot and I'll just drag it down using the quilling needle so that's what I'm doing right now. Since the space of doing this wishes it is a bit big I used both the tool and the quilling needle or else it will take more time to just drag it using the quilling needle so I had used both uh, uh, of the tools to do a pointy swishes. For this uh, pattern in the circle, I'll be using various shades of green by mixing a little amount of white to the original green. So that's what I have done now and the swishes will be slightly bent and it will be across the whole circle. And yes, if you are a new a visitor or if you have already seen my channel and haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It will motivate me to put more videos and it will be really helpful to those who want to try out this art form and to reach them. So please do subscribe and um, yeah, let's get into the next step. I had mixed a more amount of white now and uh, I'm just doing this wishes. So doing swishes is actually therapeutic. I just love it. Like when we pull the paint down, it feels very, <laughs> I, I feel very happy to do that. So I'll be doing that pattern and you would have seen already a shots of uh, this making in my previous video. Yeah, if you want to skip this part, you can very well skip it. You can check the timelines in my description and you can skip this part and move on to the next step. 
for this wish you have to go down and then uh, move it to join the center so this way it looks as if uh, you are holding all the above wishes in that particular circle so like a basket you have to do that so that's what i'm doing right now i'm now placing tiny dots of yellow color across the wishes uh, it actually completes the design and using the light green shade i'm just making uh, wishes below this pattern so there will be one more um, shade of uh, light green below this pattern and i'll be making tiny wishes with it too Since there is a gap between the swishes, I'm using blue color shade and I'm just placing dots. Now, if you see, there is an extra quadrant line available. How I had found or how I had drawn that guideline is you have to place your tape between the swishes and you will find the lines or the gap. So, that's how I had done uh, the marking of this grid line. So, initially it was 4, then we changed it into 8 grid lines and then it is 12 grid lines. So, like this also you can um, find or you can draw grid lines or you have to start these markings uh, from the start of the design. I just don't uh, do like that. I don't uh, mark all the grid lines when I start designing I'll just proceed with my grid lines so here uh, we are using um, orange color shade and I'm just placing a teardrop uh, swishes and I'm then placing a white dot on top and then I'll be doing a petal shape with orange color shades Funny fact is at this point in time, I didn't know whether I like this design or not. I didn't know what would be the next step and I was just scratching my head. Oh my God, what I'm going to do next, whether I like this pattern or not. So let me know in the comment section below once you watch the complete video. Did you like this pattern or did you find it kind of not good or kind of confusing or you're not very attracted to this pattern? Just let me know in the comment section below. So I was having kind of mixed feelings when I just uh, completed this design in the lighter shade of orange I'm just doing a tiny swishes here um, next to the teardrop now I'm using blue color um, acrylic paint and I'm just drawing our uh, swishes on either side of the petal actually there is a grid line uh, it is not that much visible here so based on that I'm just drawing the swishes so um, always I feel uh, not very comfortable when I have when I have to draw the swishes from bottom to up so that's the reason I have rotated the candle and I'm just uh, drawing from top to bottom that way I'm comfortable so it is up to you how you are comfortable you can just draw the swishes basically like that you can now see a petal shape extended i have drawn a petal shape so based on that i'll be drawing more swishes now on the top of the first swish place a dot on the side you have to side a bit and then draw the swishes so here i'm using uh, the quilling needle to do the swishes actually I'm just now repeating the same step which I had done earlier place a dot on top of the previous wish but it has to be on the side and then you have to pull it down so that's what I'm just doing right now using light green shade I'm now placing tiny dots between the swishes and also for the petal uh, shape the orange one I had placed tiny dots of white color on the last row Earlier I just drew an extended petal shape so on the same line I am just placing uh, one row of orange color. Actually I um, will be doing two rows of orange so within this uh, line I will be uh, doing a different shade of orange so there will be two rows of orange color here.
using the same uh, light color shade i'm just doing a pointy shape so basically a pointy triangle without a base i just drew initially with my watercolor pencil and i'm top of that i'm just drawing this or i'm just placing my dots since there is only some space left uh, in the daylight candle i am just extending this petal shape more and using the blue color shade i am just uh, making a swish using the brush so i am also trying my hands on, on the brush too so that's what i'm doing so for the swishes alone i just tried my hands with the brush it came out pretty good it's not very perfect but still yeah i'm learning If you reach the bottom of tea light holder, just raise a tea light holder and then continue painting it. So I had my connector nearby, I had just placed it under and I am just drawing the swishes here. On top of the pointy uh, design, I am just placing a white dot and I will be doing a circle uh, shaped dots. So various shades of orange color was used. One thought which I had when I started this design is I don't want much gaps in the steel light holder. So when there is a gap available, you can place dots. But I just opted for filling it with some color. So my go-to color is always pink, as you know, if you had followed me uh, for quite a some time. So I just use the pink color and I just fill the gap. And I just continued across it. Since there is a pink color now introduced, I just wanted to incorporate it. And yes, uh, for the swishes below, I just used a thin line. I wouldn't say this was a sw uh, swish actually, just a line uh, to complement the previous design. For the gaps below the circle uh, dots, I initially used light green shade. Why? Because in the inner rim, I had used light green. But um, when I had done with it, I didn't actually like it. So I used various shades of green. Uh, now this actually complements the flower and the swishes, the first row of swishes done. So I used various shades of green color on top of this lighter green and then I finished it off. So you have to be careful when you are doing this uh, correction. You have to make sure all the paints of the previous color is um, replaced with the new color. I couldn't rub it, uh, so I just did like that. So I actually did two coats of the same color. That way all the previous light color uh, was covered with it. Once the lighter green is replaced with darker green, I just found there are some more gaps available. So using a lighter shade of white, I think it is uh, skin white. I will just put the name in the description box below. I just made a teeny tiny swish, a thin swish and I just completed the whole uh, design across. Also on the bottom on either side of the green swishes, I had placed tiny dots of lighter uh, orange shades. Uh, to just uh, close the design and on the gaps here i'm just using the same um, light color white or the skin color white and i'm just filling the gap but it actually didn't complement well so i used a uh, pink color on top of it and finished this design at this point i actually varnished uh, the top of the tea light holder and i was contemplating whether to do the uh, sides of this holder so finally then i decided let me just finish it off why to just give uh, leave it like that with black color i would have done complicated design of swishes but it is very difficult when you are doing it on the sides you have to be very cautious i didn't have any more patience on this piece so what i did was i used uh, two shades of orange color so there will be like one row of orange will be the size of the dot will be big and the second row will be small and the third row will be big and the fourth row will be small. So that's how I completed this um, orange rows. Using a uh, yellow color shade, I'm just placing tiny dots in between these orange dots and I'm just completing this whole design. 
we have now come to the end of the video and stay tuned for the pictures which i had clicked with this delight holder and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and like comment share and let me know in the comment section below how did you like this pattern and share your thoughts or any suggestions and request and i will have a look into it and thank you so much for watching stay tuned bye bye